So y'all, I don't have any Love and Marriage Huntsville tea or topics or news to present to y'all, but I do want to talk about uh, Real Housewives of Potomac. So I will watch this show here and there periodically, but I have kept up with the reunions because I feel like literally the reunions go over everything that you just seen in the show but you know they condense it in three episodes so i've been watching the reunion um since it aired and i just finished watching the uh reunion episode that came on this past sunday and i am getting the vibe that just as an outsider looking in that there is some form of colorism and it may be not colorism definitely some jealousy i feel as though like the lighter skinned women on the show like robin giselle ashley they're sitting up there having men problems so they come for women like candace and uh wendy because they got a man and their men love them and i feel like in their mind they probably think i hate to say it that they look better than those two because they are brown skin and they feel as though like oh my gosh like okay i'm light skin i'm pretty people put me on the pedestal in society so why can't i get or why why aren't men staying with me and having my back like their men do and that's just the vibe that i get and that's how come i feel like they go and attack these men in particular because i do find it odd they're sitting up there trying to break ashley oh, and and the text was very inappropriate like they really keep trying to get these men caught up in situations to kind of make it seem like you know it gotta be something they ain't all that look they got these men got wandering eyes they don't really want their wife for real like i feel like they're just trying to push that narrative out of jealousy and i think because of the color you know divide it can come across as colorism i'm not that educated in the colorism field but i understand it you know the basics so i'm not trying to sit up here and make myself out to be like the colorism police or anything like that but i definitely do notice it like just being an outsider looking in because i'm just like dang if they don't go ahead from like ashley really got on my nerves do y'all really think that ashley do you really think chris candace husband will sit up there and try to get with you on this like knowing that <laughs> it's a show knowing that whatever that he does that is suspect well, you guys will pull out and bring it to the forefront like now so do you really think that these men and wendy too i mean mm, wendy's husband too eddie do you really think that like these men are not stupid so to me them reaching out to or being friendly to these women is purely innocent i felt like okay this is a whole lot dms replying to a comment on social media because it's social media it was it you know they're not dumb they're not going to do any at least to me from my opinion <laughs> my opinion only they're not going to do anything that will make them look in a bad light amongst like the other women so their so their wives could look um or feel embarrassed like they're not going to do that so to me i just feel like they are nitpicking the littlest things and giselle i'm uh, you know you're not allowed to tell people how to feel so if she did feel uncomfortable so be it but i feel like giselle relax it was not that and, and uh, i guess i'm being wrong with saying that but i do feel like like what they're saying why bring it up now who 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 did it? Who should we say did it then? Why are you trying to make Chris out to be a bad guy? And I really do feel like it's jealousy because guess what? When it came down to Juan stuff, they kept that in house, didn't they? Uh, when it came to Robin's husband, Juan, Giselle kept that her lips private, and I'm pretty sure out uh, closed. And I'm pretty sure she knew about it, so they made sure they covered him up, even though he had even more worse, like actual another lady in a, a plane and hotel ticket or it's real like real shady stuff like at least whatever um chris did and eddie did was on camera it was like all out on front street it wasn't hidden or anything like that you know he wrote in the dms he wrote in text where he knew that that stuff could be verified or people could go back and look at that stuff but pause for pause i didn't understand the circumstances i didn't know that was your job at the time Fair. okay so okay. for giselle it felt like that's how come i just feel like to me these women are haters because wendy and candace got men and like i said i do feel like it's a little jealousy maybe not colorism but it's definitely jealousy because i feel like they feel like to me i'm getting the vibe that they just trying to break down a good situation because 
they don't have anybody because their marriages are messed up because they thought that looks only matter. You know what I mean? Looks get you through the door, but it don't keep you at the table, you know? And I feel like that's what these women, even though they're like grown, grown, they probably are just now coming to the realization. How many times has Giselle been on that stage and no one showed up for her, like no man? Plenty of times uh, Juan has been um, missing in action. It hasn't showed up for... um, Robin, same thing with um Ashley. You know, now they're going to uh her husband and she's going to the, going through a divorce with him. So I feel like these women like are low key jealous. Those three in particular, um, and they just want to make it seem like these men are bad men. But I see through it. <laughs> I'm team Candice, Wendy. Y'all stand strong. Uh, keep it together. <laughs> Um, you know, keep shining and showing up because y'all show that at the end you win. When you stay, you never win when you play dirty. You never win, Giselle, Robin, uh, Ashley. Well, Robin really wasn't saying too much or whatever, but you know, her silence, uh uh-uh, I'm not feeling it. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to vent and get that off my chest because that part really triggered me the most when they were sitting up there trying to break stuff down. and uh, and the text went, and it was very inappropriate. And, and, shut up! Like, come on! Like, do you really think that he's that dumb that he gonna be trying to trying to get with you, knowing that you on a national TV show with his wife? Like, use your what's not clicking, Tiffany? Use your brain. It was the, the nature of the of the DM. At two forty two, he writes, "You should have came to." So, oh. but yeah, that's all I had to say. <laughs> like I said, this is a little different from, you know, my usual uh, love in Mayor Chunsville content, but I just had to get this off my chest. If you get the feelings dressed up in your chest and you that you're about to lose, maybe it's true. Remember that song about that same child on the Destiny Fulfilled album? Mm-hmm. Yo, I feel like I was like, what? Maybe 13 or something when that album came out? I don't know, but... Mm-hmm. So every time somebody talk about chess, I always think about that line. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Do you guys watch Potomac? Like I said, I, I just here and there watch the episodes, but I literally watched the whole entire reunion um, on the Bravo app. Oh, look at me, you know, technology, yes. Ah. <laughs> Other than that, I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Mess and quite a man, a girl was having sex. Mess and quite a man, a girl was having sex.